At the very top of that staircase is the A grade. Your introduction needs to be short, it needs to be crisp, it needs to be quick. You might want to write a little bit about the time the book was written, you might want to talk a little bit about the writer's life and what they were thinking about, what they were experiencing when they wrote the book or poem, but keep it quick. That's the key to structure your answer. You start off with a point. Best way to do this is to recycle the words in the question. So if you're asked something like, um, how do the poets use contrast? You would say the poet uses contrast in this poem by example. Just keep them short, keep them simple, keep them focused. And finally, your analysis. You want to try and say sentences like this shows that, this explains that, this makes the reader feel that. <laughs> And you've done all of this work so far. You've given your quotation, you've talked about the words in it, and you're almost there. You've got to think about the big idea. What does this play or poem or book mean to you? Hmm, I think he's really talking about this. So you're going to use sentences like, the writer is trying to suggest that. This links to the idea of, because uh, the writer deliberately wanted to make his reader think about the idea of, and you've got to ask yourself, what are the main themes in the book? So once you've finished your first paragraph, you simply use a linking word, something like, indeed, the writer goes on to say, or equally. If you're doing a comparison text, you might say, in comparison, or you might say something like, likewise, in the other text, and that can help you get back on track. If you have an essay where you're comparing two things, either choose the pinstripe or choose the check. Talk about one text and then talk about the second text. And as you talk about the second text, keep making comparisons. Or you can attempt the checkered approach, which is where you talk about one text and then compare it to a bit from your second text. Talk about your first text and compare it to your second text and so on. And you just keep going all the way through the essay. Your conclusion just needs to go back to the beginning again. In conclusion, having looked at the way that uses in and you summarise your points. What was the writer trying to do in this book? After all this work, we've made it. We've finally made it. And there it is. The grade A. It's more beautiful than I'd ever thought.